Uh, Unboxing the uh, new MakerBot yeah. Replicator Plus. Okay, so we now uh, unbox the uh, MakerBot. It's just uh, out of the box, and uh, we're now going to grab our quick guide out of the uh, out of the box that comes with it. So we and, uh, we've already done this part. Yep. We're going to work on this part. So we've got these uh, orange yep. clips holding the belts. Yep. Pull those off. And take those off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next step. So we're going to go ahead and lift yep. this up. Yep. So we're going to lift up the. Uh, no, what it doesn't the, mention there. The drawer for the filament. And, uh, yep. And underneath there, we've just got a clip to undo. Let's go ahead and take these off over here. And, uh, yep. And the little plastic orange bits. That holds our tray in. Yep. Alright. Okay, we're now going to load the filament. And if you look here, it's going to go anti-clockwise. Yep. Snap a clean piece uh, off so we've got a nice flush edge. And just feed through the tubing. There we go. And now we just uh, plug in the uh, the cables, uh, get the power cable plugged in, and we're ready to uh, power it on and follow the instructions uh, on the screen. Okay, we're now just uh, powering up and waiting for the MakerBot Replicator Plus to uh, boot up. All right, it's now finishing the uh, startup. It's taking a few minutes. Sit that over there. Okay, we've now started up and we're ready to follow the instructions and get started. So use the dial, navigation it tells you about how it works. Use the top button to go back and use the bottom button to view the men menu. So we can begin the setup. And, uh, and first thing it says download the app. Visit microbot.com get started. Download and open the mobile app to set up printer. Alright, so we're now on the microbot.com forward slash get started uh, web page following the instructions and we're just going to click on uh, download on the app store so we want to get the uh, uh, app and you just want to download that or I've got it already downloaded so I'm just going to open it Okay, MakerBot would like to send you notifications, you can allow that. Uh, and then we're going to have to uh, log in or sign up to get started. Alright, so we're now uh, signed in and I've got uh, this screen up so we want to add a printer. So I'll click on there and we want to set up a new printer to get printing quickly so select on there and we're going to choose our model uh, we've got the replicator plus so i'm going to pick that one and uh, now 
it's telling us to unbox the printer, which uh, we've already done that. And uh, have your Wi-Fi password handy. And remove orange packing clips, uh, slips, we've already done that. Plug in and power on. And click that printer is on. We now want to turn on the hotspot. And if you have a look on there, it's already active. So I'll click on continue setup and uh, pair to the printer connect to the phone connect the phone to the printer's hotspot in wi-fi settings and return to the app once connected so i'm just going to go into my settings i'm going to go into uh, my wi-fi and i can see there i've got the uh, hotspot if you like or the network for mb setup select that one make sure you get a blue tick next to it and we're then gonna return to our MakerBot app we've now got the uh, phone pairing connecting to printer phone is now paired to the printer and we can click name printer we can give it a name uh, I'm just gonna call it uh, uh, MakerBot uh, rep replicator plus are we happy with that continue and we're now going to set up the uh, Wi-Fi we can skip that or we can set it up I'm going to set up the Wi-Fi and I'm going to enter the uh, password uh, so you have to know your uh, Wi-Fi password for this um, and select uh, OK we're now connecting to our Wi-Fi and uh, you can see on the display there now we've got printer is now connected to AA Tech Wi Fi and uh, begin calibration. So we've now got uh, okay, we've got the message upgrade firmware. There's a new version of the firmware available. Would you like to upgrade now? So we're just going to select upgrade and uh, let that uh, happen in the background. Uh, while we wait for that, attach your okay, attach your smart extruder so that it magnetically snaps into place to begin calibration. So uh, we'll have a look at the uh, we've unboxed or open the packet for the extruder, and we're going to click that in. We're going to click it in. <laughs> Way back here, how am I? Okay, yeah. So, if you just have a look at the top there, we just moved the maybe you didn't see that we, we just moved this arm, you know, the belt arm forward a bit so we could get access to the back and click the extruder on. Just magnetically attached, so if you get a good grip, you can pull it back off. So it's got four points of attachment and then the connector. Yep. Okay, and we can now select the smart extruder is attached, which is really this is uh, on my phone screen, it's mirroring the uh, menu that I've got on the printer. So attach that. Um, yep, so we can follow the instructions on the screen. Your smart extruder was successfully attached and continue. And we can now start the uh, calibration.
and uh, we're now waiting for it to heat up and calibrate and by the way we're now we don't need the uh, the phone app anymore because as soon as we paired it paired the uh, microbot to the uh, Wi-Fi network it's now connected to the network and it's dropped off the uh, hotspot to the phone Okay, so we're now uh, calibrating the printer, it's just uh, warmed up and we're up to the stage where we set the build plate offset. So as you can see there, it's now uh, uh, measuring the height or getting the uh, print head or the extruder exactly uh, level with the build plate. Okay, so we're now uh, calibrating the printer, it's just uh, warmed up and we're up to the stage where we set the build plate offset. So as you can see there, it's now uh, uh, measuring the height or getting the uh, print head or the extruder exactly uh, level with the build plate. All right, so we're now uh, up to the uh, uh, load filament three out of four. Push your filament into the extruder until you feel it being pulled in and wait until you see filament begin to extrude. So we just feed that in through the top like that. And you can see it's very slowly feeding in through, through the extruder head. And uh, yeah, we can see that uh, feeding through. And uh, once we're happy with that coming through, we we'll just uh, tap the OK on the on the dial. And uh, next step is to begin the test print. So we'll just uh, click on there, and you can see on the on the dial here we've got the uh, chain ready to print. So we can we can choose to skip or print that. So we're going to print that and uh, print time is 19 minutes so let's start that we're getting ready and uh, yeah and we're just comparing that we're just starting the uh, previous model of the MakerBot replicator which uh, takes about 25 minutes to print the same job. Alright, we're just about finished with our uh, test print on the new uh, MakerBot replicator plus. We're at 99%, there's 100% and it's actually taken about 22 minutes to do that uh, chain. And, uh, there we go. That's, uh, that's done. And uh, we can now have a look. Uh, we can uh, pull that. We can pull the whole whole plate off and have a look at that. If it was a bigger thing, we can you can see it's a flexible. That's a bit of an upgrade from the uh, from the uh, previous model. And I'm just going to peel that off. Our chain. And uh, there we go. And uh, there we go. That's our first uh, test print on the new MakerBot Replicator Plus.